Like a true movie lover, I often tend to download them from streaming platform and to watch them on my NAS device. Before I started to use Synology as a primary NAS device, I encountered with the Plex. That is a Plex media server which provides to stream video content from my NAS device onto my laptop, phone, other computer and on TV. In this video, we are going through installation of Plex media server on Synology device. Before we start, I have to mention that Synology in its own package center offers with a package station which is let's say similar to Plex. You can install Plex Media Server on another NAS device and if you don't own NAS device you can install it on your computer. But you must have in mind that in order to watch any content on different devices it is necessary that Plex Media Server is turned on. Actually computer on which Plex Server is operating must be turned on. The nice thing about NAS devices is that they don't use as many resources as computers, mainly because they use the far less amount of electricity and these devices usually do not turn off, so your titles are available all the time. In order to install Plex Media Server we need to log in on Synology dashboard. On Mi Many, in upper right corner we need to find Package Center or click on the shortcut which is located on dashboard main, main page. Plex Media Server is not located in all package section, so we need to click on the Beta Packages tab and search for it. Click on Join Beta and run the download and installation. In Share folder we will leave blank as, as default. Now we need to log in to the Plex. If you're not registered, you can open free account clicking on sign up, where you can choose single sign through Google, Facebook or Apple account or simply enter your email address and desired password for your account. As I stated earlier, I already have an account, so I will pass this step and go straight to sign in. Logging to Plex from my Google account will pull my device library. Now we will make a new library with our movies and name it, uh, let's say, movies2 and put the path of the folder. After adding to the library, Plex service will download data which includes some of the basic information about the movie, series or documentary such as title, release date, casting crew, etc. Now we will run the movie from the browser just to see how this platform works. So this will be all for this video. If you liked this video leave a like. If you have any questions, suggestions or having trouble with the Plex Media Server installation feel free to write in the comment below. Until next time, goodbye.